Here's the thing, I am not good at sewing. But it's something that I enjoy, and something I'm trying to get better. So join me as I take this athletic outfit and turn it into a bucket hat. Now they say to always iron your clothes before getting ready to sew, but for me I elect to just lay it down and try to pat it flat. After realizing I don't even need that piece, I decided to just pick it up again and cut it right down the center. I conveniently miss all the cutting happening on camera um, to make for optimal viewer experience. After some off camera effort, I was able to find a piece that I could use. I'm gonna lay it down here and get ready for some pattern cutting. This pattern requires one side being on a fold here, so you see me fidget with it a little bit as I try to line it up perfectly before realizing, oh yeah, I have clips. I can just clip it on and then it won't move when I go to cut it. I take my newfound clip knowledge and use it here as I cut out the second piece from this blue fabric. After finishing with the blue, it's time to go to the green pants. But wait a moment. Look at the liner notes. They're exactly right. These green pants have this weird inside lining. So before I got to cutting anything, I had to rip that out. And then just take my word for it, I cut those pieces up too. But that's enough cutting. Let's get to sewing. The starting stitches on this hat begin really easy with some straight lines on both the body and the brim parts. As you can see, I'm starting and ending with a back stitch as a way to keep all these stitches in line and secure. Some people like to wait to the end to trim off the excess thread, but I have a tendency to forget, so I like to do it right as I finish up the pieces. As you just saw, I finished up some of the brim pieces of the hat, and I'm going to do the same type of stitch for the body pieces. I'm finishing up some of the stitches here on the body pieces, and traditionally, once you finish the body pieces, you're going to want to sew it to the top piece of the hat, which is shown here, but that was part that I forgot to record. What an idiot. So we'll take a moment and act like that didn't happen and fast forward to all the top stitching on the hat. These bucket hats require a ton of top stitching, both on the hat part that sits on your head and on the brim. While I'm top stitching the main part of the hat, you'll see me switch over and make some cuts and that's just to reduce the tension in the fabric to make it easier to work with. And that's where it ends. Uh, along with getting better at sewing, I'm also trying to get better at making these videos and I completely forgot a lot of the final parts and so there's no finish for you guys. That's it. You've got to be kidding me. That's right, I am kidding. I did build the bucket hat. It looks like a swimsuit for your head. It's not perfect, but it is mine. So thank you for watching. Hopefully the next project is a little bit better. Bye.